Hey guys, this is Leon. So I had this image. This is an image that I shot with Alyssa. And what I'm doing for this image is just the preparation for my old master's edit. Um, if you haven't heard anything about my work before, my old master's edit is like a lot of my work is influenced by Renaissance and vintage themes. And so my old master's edit is just the process that I developed that gets my images looking somewhat like uh, a painting. So this is pretty much how I started out out of camera. Um, if you look over here, I just cropped my image a little bit and I just brought up the exposure in Adobe Camera Raw and I also got out a a sticker that was on this uh, this frond of whatever this is that I got from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So this is the image straight out of camera and I think I'd reduce the oranges a little bit in the skin okay and so that's what we have just from like doing that in Adobe Camera Raw so typically first thing I do is I go and I look at blemishes so looking at this image um, I don't have very many blemishes uh, there's some some areas that I would like to take care of though like her skin and her skin looks pretty good I mean there are, pro there are a few blemishes here but these uh, are blemishes that with the, uh, with the ratio of what we have as far as her size, I mean, you're not going to be able to see the blemishes on her face. I mean, we don't have anything distinctive. So typically, even if I go to here now, what I would want to do is probably clean up a few of these hairs. So I would probably use the spot healing brush with a very small brush here and clean up some of these hairs. And that's just something that, for me, that I like to do here. So I'm just going to go in and clean up some of these hairs. And that is part of just like, you know, there, I think that a lot of times with an image, there are, a cumul there are a lot of small things that when you bring them together, they have a cumulative effect on the quality of the image. And so I think removing hairs and doing small edits like that, those things have cumulative effects. And come and they result in a more professional and better looking image okay so like you see here I'm just using a small brush and going over them sometimes if I have to I go over it twice uh, you can use anything that you want to use in order to do this uh, I just use a spot healing brush here because it's quick and I, if I were really if this were like a beauty shot I probably would use the healing brush where I'm replacing the skin with something else and why don't I do that in a couple places here? And so I'm hitting Alt and then let's see, I'm making my brush a lot smaller. And so I don't want to use a huge brush because I think that when you when you use a small brush, it results in like you don't really see the seams or the or what happened in order to create in order to uh, get rid of what you did. Okay. So there we go. I'm just cleaning up a little bit this in this area. Okay. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to move that down. And there are a couple areas here that I that I might change. Let's see also. All right. Um now later on in my dodge and burn, I'm going to even out like some, like if you look at like uh, some of these, like she has a little bit of unevenness in her skin here and in some of those places. So I think in here, I mean, you know, underneath the eyes and I mean, those are normal, but uh, in my dodge and burn, I'm actually going to go through and take care of a lot of that. All right. So I've gotten just some of those basic blemishes that I, that I wanted to get rid of. Um, now I'm looking at like the side over here. I think that was probably the edge of my, um, the edge of my backdrop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this little portion right here and drag it up here using the, using the patch tool. And that looks a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to expand this just a tad on this side. And as you can see, I have the delete cropped pistols pixels as well as content aware fill check so what that's going to do is it's going to look at the rest of the area and then create like a fill area and I mean there, there are a number of different ways that you can do this and so every time I do that I'll go back and I'll look at it 
and see whether there are any areas that I need to to clean up. Sometimes I see little irregularities that I don't like, and so what I just use is the patch tool, and I'll pull those over. Sometimes if they're wrinkles or something like that, you can pull it over, and then that wrinkle just becomes absorbed into the image. You don't really see very much. Okay, so then, let's see. Then I want to go using my my stamp tool here, clone stamp tool, and I'm just going to get rid of some of these small flyaway hairs. That's just a little thing, and, and I mean, it's just me, but like I, I try to do a good job about, you know, making an image a little bit more clean. It's I think it's sometimes the small things which you do that have like that cumulative effect. And here my flow is just like at 10%. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing this, I'll use a hardness, which is somewhere in the middle there, so I'm not bleeding on to things which are nearby. And so this shoot with Alyssa was somewhat of a Greek-themed shoot, um, a Greek slash Roman, and I, and I think that we hit it off. I mean, we had a, a beautiful subject. Uh, the dress here is by the Free People brand, and this uh, scarf here is just a piece of unbleached cheesecloth. So I think that we hit it out of the park with this one, with, as far as styling and everything. <coughs> Excuse me, everything else. All right. So I've done the blemishes. Next thing I want to do are the eyes. So I have a few things that I have here, and I'm just going to create a dodge and burn for my eyes. Okay. So I'm gonna go look at the eyes and see what I need to clean up. Okay, that's too large, all right. So bring in the eyes here. So also right now, maybe my focus was not perfect for this one. So I'm gonna create details here. It's basically a high pass, a high pass uh, filter. And I'm just gonna bring in some of these details. So I'm going to use a brush that's about 10%. So why don't I do that from scratch since you guys don't maybe not maybe don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do a con command J and and copy that layer right there. And I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to high pass. And my high pass layer there my radius is like 8.2, 6.8 and what I do is I usually get that filter to, to where like the subject and the details look a little bit wispy. Okay, and then I say okay. And then if I take that and make it a linear light, now you can see the difference in the details like when I click that on and when I click that off. Okay. So I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a layer mask to this, a, a black layer mask. So I turn that basically off. <clears throat> and you know what I think I'm gonna add <clears throat> I'm gonna add some details into the entire image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually copy that I'm gonna turn I'm gonna delete my layer mask for that one and I'm gonna just bring it down to like the opacity down to like I'd say about 20 15 percent let's say 15 16 percent okay and that I'm going to merge with the bottom one and so this one is with my layer mask that's black and I'm just gonna paint over that with about a 10% brush here and I'm just gonna paint over the eyes oops it's on clone stamp and not brush <clears throat> as you can see here my flow is about 10% uh, <clears throat> and I'm painting to that background copy layer okay and see boom I got the details back in her eyes I'm going to apply the same to her eyebrows, and I'm going to apply some details to our little golden headpiece there. All right, then I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to merge that with the background there. All right, so now we have uh, the dodge and the burn in the background. So typically, with the whites of the eyes, I will go through and get out these little portions there. Sometimes you have to deal with little spots in the eyes. Sometimes you deal with uh, redness of the eyes. Uh, that's not a good one right there. I'm sorry. So I'm going to use a patch tool there. Okay. And let me go over to the other eye. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay. So yeah, so I just get rid of those little spots there. And with my dodge tool, I'm gonna go with a, a very soft brush and I'm gonna go with about a 5% flow here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna lighten up the whites of her eyes. Okay. I don't want to go too too far. I don't want her to look like a, one of those Guauld from Stargate SG-1. You know, I'm kind of a nerd. All right, so then I'm going to go to a brush with 20% and see these highlights here? I'm going to actually brighten my highlights a little bit because I think that that increases like the the look or like the, you know, the sharpness in the, in the eyes. All right, uh, let's see. So for burn here, I'm just going to go over the there's like a black line that goes around the eye and I'm just gonna go around that usually this is one of those things where you know you you would notice it a little bit more in brighter eyes and brighter colored eyes I'm gonna go back down to 10% flow here with the brush and I'm gonna go to my dodge layer and I'm gonna dodge that the brown into her eyes a little bit so looking at the dodge and burn right now, this is what it looks like once I've completed that portion. Then you can I'm clicking my dodge and burn on and off, so you see just a small difference. And I'm probably going to take that and like bring it back a little bit because I think it, you know, when you look at like the effect here, okay, it doesn't look so bad there, but I think I'm going to bring it back just a bit. Okay. All right. So, let's see, I'm going to bring that back, probably, let's see, that's zero, let's say about 84%, okay? Then, also with the eyes here, I think I'm going to desaturate the eyes a little bit, okay? So I'm going to get a hue saturation layer, and I'm going to bring my saturation back, and I'm going to invert that, so I have a inverted layer, and I'm going to paint onto these whites. And so what that will do is that will take out the color in those eyes and make them a little bit more white. And I'm gonna just touch the uh, highlights also. <clears throat> so what do we have here? Boom, boom, okay, so those, that I like that. All right, so those are the eyes. So I'm going to take everything here and I'm going to do a group and I'm just going to call that eyes. Alright, so then I typically would do it one for the hair too. So with the hair here, you, there's, you don't, you're not seeing so much of the hair because uh, of the hairstyle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for the hair, I'm just going to create a stamped layer. And I'm going into Adobe Camera Raw. And I'm just going to take that exposure up a little bit. And I'm going to take my clarity up a little bit. Okay. And I just kind of do that to taste. Then I save those. Then I go back to my layer mask. And I'm going to apply a, layer ma a black layer mask down here. Okay. <coughs> And then I'm going to paint that on using a white brush with about 10%. Okay. All right. So, and I'm going to paint it primarily over the highlights area. So what that's doing is that it's bringing back a little bit into the hair. <coughs> okay. So then... Actually, I want to go back into Adobe Camera Raw. Oops, I'm in. Um, I was my uh, Adobe Camera Raw. My layer mask was selected, not the actual image. So I'm going to go here and add a little bit into the shadows. I'm going to pull that over to the right, and so that's the effect that I'm having. With, so that's the difference in the effect between with the hair. <coughs> 
So what I did there was I just added some details on the hair and I'm actually going to bring that back a little bit. Okay. Looking at this here now. So I've done the hair and I'm just going to label that layer hair and I just do that to keep you guys aware of what I'm going to do. And then after I do the hair, um, let's see, I think that I think I'll go directly to dodging and burning. So typically with dodging and burning, I have my own action, but let me show you how I do it basically. I, I do it with curves and there are a number of different ways that you can do dodging and burning. <clears throat> so I just take the curves and I pull it down like that and that's going to be my burn layer. And I'll label that burn. Okay. And then I will invert that using control I. Then I will or command control or command I. Uh, then I will do another curves layer. This is gonna be my dodge layer, which I bring up like that. Okay. And I'm gonna label that one dodge. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Alright. So I usually put my dodge layer on below my burn layer just so I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to group them into a group there. So I'm going to say dodge and burn there. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, in my burn layer, I mean in my dodge layer here, I forgot to invert it. So I'm going to invert that. And then we go back to that, to what we recognize. Okay. So dodging and burning. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, I have a little 50% gray layer that I'm going to create here. Uh, and I do that so I can better see kind of like the luminosity of where I want to dodge and burn. So to dodge, I'm going to do a brush which is 1% brush with my dodge. I always start out with dodge. Let's see. <clears throat> so Looking at some of these different discoloration skin, basically what I'm aiming to do is to kind of make my skin color more regular and more regular throughout, or more consistent, I'll say. Okay. All right, so I'm just dodging and burning a little bit here, evening out those skin that skin color. And it's and like I said earlier, it's easier to do this with a 50% gray layer active, bridge of the nose here, uh, because luminosity is easier, more easily seen in black and white. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to my burn layer here. <clears throat> And, then, and so really dodging and burning, you're not really creating your own shadows. <clears throat> you're just enhancing what you already have there. Okay. And I do right under the lip there to, to create that. So I'm going back to dodging. I'm going to dodge that lip a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to back up a little bit, and then I'm going to burn the tops of these clavicles here. Okay, and then a little bit just right underneath the clavicle to give it some definition. Then I'm going to dodge, and, and I'm going to hit the top of the clavicle bone there. Okay. All right. All right, that looks good. Let's see. All right, so now I'm going to start dodging the clothes a little bit. So I'm going to go to a point. I'm going to go to a 4% brush. All right. And I think a lot of my clothes here, I just try to dodge like the, I'm going to go to a 3% brush. Uh, a lot of the wrinkles and the different creases in the clothing, I try to dodge a little bit to dodge and burn a little bit just to get just to get bring out some of the details in the clothes okay, <clears throat> okay. 
And so, I mean, this is just something that you do to taste. I mean, some people, they don't even do this. So this might be something that I enjoy doing here. Just to give the detail, just to give the dress a little bit more depth, I'll say. And then the burn for some of these shadows is really where I'm going to make my money here. Okay. And I think that it, when you dodge and burn your outfits, they look they look like they're 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 more believable in a way. Okay. So I think that that's good. And so, like, if you want to see what the cumulative effect of it, you see that's the difference between the two. And I'm going to take off some of this dodge right here. Okay. Removing some of that. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to take that whole dodge and burn, and then I'm going to bring it down to about 86% there. Okay. And looking at the face here more, oops. Looking at the face here more, there's still some more that I want to dodge and burn, just kind of like the contouring. So I'm going to dodge, I'm going to go back to a 1% brush. <coughs> okay. And basically with the dodging and burning, you want to make sure that you, you just want to have like very smooth transitions. Oops. And I'm dodging and burning with a black brush. Okay, so I'm going to go back and just start over with that. So I'm going to go back to my dodge and with a 1% brush I'm going to dodge that okay okay Okay, so really what I'm trying to do is just make sure that I have good transitions between the light and the dark areas. Okay. And I'm just doing this kind of by eye here. There's no, <clears throat> there's no magic to it. It's just something that you get used to, like whatever, you get used to after a while. And so I'm just going to burn that to give it a little bit more depth in there and there okay all right and so there's my dodge and burn okay so I'm gonna turn off my 50% gray layer and there's my dodge and burn so basically when you look at the face the difference is that you have a little bit more you have a little bit more definition to the face and I want to add a little bit more dodge over here And then I'm going to dodge around the eyes a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so there, what we have here is just like, you can see a little bit of a difference now. Uh, I think that her face has a different quality to it now. Soften those up a little bit. And so it's something that you do pretty much to taste. Okay, and that's how I prepare my image for my old master's edit. So if you've never heard of my old master's edit, that's just the process that I've created to essentially uh, make portraits and pictures that look like Renaissance paintings. So I sell this. So if you are interested in my old master's edit, then just send me a message on Facebook and I'll give you more information. The, t the cost of the old master's tutorial is $150. And with the tutorial, you get uh, you get a start to finish uh, edit on two different photos of how I do the old masters edits. You also get some sample files. You also are admitted into a private Facebook group where I mentor the people, mentor like the people who purchased my tutorial in how to in how to produce the old masters effect. Thank you. Have a great day.